Morning. Had a question on uh, motor mounts again, a little red, the LS into the 83. It'd be like a 72 to I think 93 was the last year. Body style, what you can do on these. So a couple things, if you're doing the 480 like I did, you can use the factory trans mount. But you'll just have to section it. Let's just start with that. And all I used for all this was that crappy Chicago electric um, cutoff that I actually borrowed from a buddy like a hundred bucks at Harbor Freight. It worked for cutting all of it, it just took forever. And then the 220 volt Harbor Freight welder, the Chicago Electric. Get it with the warranty, that way when it burns out, you can just pick up another one for cheap. This is like $180 on sale. And no, I am not a welder. I hadn't welded in probably 20 years since I was a teenager. And even now, I wasn't good at it. But it's if you're using quarter inch steel like I did, it's it's easy. Just watch a few YouTube videos, practice a little bit. Um, I actually practiced by doing it. So first, we did the uh, my nephew-in-law who does weld regularly helped me with the trans mount. Uh, let's look at that. So to get this thing where you want it, you have to put a jack under the trans. You know, have your motor and trans bolted together. Drop it in here on the hoist. Hopefully y'all don't throw up. And then hold the motor on the hoist, hold the uh, trans up on the jack and you can get everything situated where you want it. So what we did, oh, I thought this truck was taller than this. I'll go through this again. You can do this. So even if you have no welding experience, man, just look on the YouTube. Get you some quarter inch steel, get you a cheap welder, get you a quick, uh, cheap cutoff wheel. You can do this, I promise. Even I could do it. And I have a seventh grade education, so y'all can do it too. So that right there, that's the quarter inch steel we cut. It looks like uh, probably three and a half inches by probably 10. So we just sliced the cross member into thirds. Okay. And then you lee, uh, bolt back in the outer sections here in here okay and then you can modify the dodge cross member cross, excuse me cross member transmission mount you can spread the ears on it and then retack it uh you might need to get some help for welding that because it's light gauge steel i had to get my nephew-in-law to do it but it's no big deal and the dodge uh trans mount will fit on the 480 okay and then you can go ahead and Weld your fill-in pieces, a three and a half by, it's like 10, so it might be a foot, um, on the cross member itself, the outer pieces. And then you can position the middle cradle front to back as you need it, and then tack that. And then we blasted this thing and painted it. I hope that makes sense. Once you get under here working on it, you'll figure it out. It's actually pretty simple. I'd never done one of these before. This is my first pretty much everything on one of these. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. For the motor mounts, kind of hung the motor in there and then did the trans mount first. Man, I'm sorry for this. I'm old. Okay, just go to that wrecking yard, not the wrecking yard, the salvage yard, you know, where you take your cans and stuff, and they will sell you most likely quarter inch steel by the pound. So just get you a couple pieces. Um, and then, man, it's kind of hard to see. But what I did is these are S10 motor mounts. It's picked up on the Evil Bay. Bolted those to the engine and took my quarter inch steel and just slid it at an angle between the frame and the bottom cross member. Okay, you will have to take out the old engine mounts. And when you do that, at least on my truck, this AR mount right here, one of the rivets for the motor mount, goes through that, so you have to stick a bolt in there when you're done, no big deal. So anyway, you stick your plate steel in there, both sides, get the motor to the height you want, and then just mark that dude, okay? And you cut off some short pieces, this looks like, I think two inch by maybe five and a half, and you can just tack them on there, set everything in here, tack it on there, pull it back out, and you can weld the pieces together. Be easier if the motor was out so I could show you. I got another video on it somewhere. Damn. Oh, 
and see how much skin I can take off first thing in the morning. A little better view. So the motor mount plate is actually kind of shaped like a triangle and you can kind of see the stiffener I put on the back of it. It actually is really simple. Once you get in here and start working on it, you'll have it, no problems. Like I said, I am no welder. Never had any training on it. The quarter inch steel is easy to mess with and the settings are actually on the Harbor Freight. I just did flux core, didn't have any gas. Certainly you could blast and paint these. It is easy. You just got to get in there and start doing it. Oh, look at all them oil leaks. Must be a street truck. All right. Hope that helped. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Uh, when you do the trans mount, when you re-weld the trans mount itself, you'll burn up the inner rubber. Make sure you go ahead and order a polyurethane insert. That way you'll have that to stick back into the mount after you weld it where it needs to be, after you spread the ears on it. Um, and I think that's it. Plenty of room where we set this thing to, to the transmission bell housing bolts. So you can pull the tranny separate from the engine, which we did. Only thing was, this was a slant six, not a four truck. So that the trans tunnel, I believe is smaller than say a 727 equipped truck or even a four wheel drive. So it took some dinging right there. That's where one of the trans cooler mount lines is. Trans cooler mount. Trans cooler lines is. This is a 90, I'll say 97 and up. So it's got the, uh, you know, the front and the back cooler lines. So that is the, I want to say it's the front cooler line. Anyway, yeah, just a little bit of massaging on the floor pan. But it did fit. Certainly there's not much clearance with that big transmission in that small trans tunnel. But it works. No surgery, unlike if you're doing an A518 into one of these. Although some of them came with it. Maybe the factory equipped A518 trucks will actually fit the 480 a little easier. Doable, super easy. I'd never done it before. I have a seventh grade education, no formal welding skills, and I did it. You guys can do it. Just jump on in there and get her done. Y'all have a good day.